we will be solving problems based on topic intersection of solids from chapter number 2 so the problem here consists of intersection of cylinder and cylinder so basically you can see in the figure that we have two cylinders one vertical cylinder in the pink color and the second horizontal cylinder in the yellow color now both the cylinders are intersecting each other in such a way that the axis of the vertical cylinder and the axis of the horizontal cylinder are perpendicular to each other in order to draw the curves of intersection we have to first mark the points of intersection for example you can see here that this cylinder is intersected by the horizontal cylinder at these points that is P2, P3, P4 etc. So in order to draw the curves of intersection first we have to mark the points of intersection of the horizontal cylinder with the vertical cylinder. Also you can see that the vertical cylinder will have its top view as a circle of some diameter. The front view of this cylinder will be a rectangle whereas the side view of the same cylinder will be also a rectangle. Similarly the side view of this horizontal cylinder will be a circle of some given diameter whereas the front view of this cylinder that is the horizontal cylinder will be a rectangle. Also the top view of the horizontal cylinder will be rectangle. So in order to draw the intersection of the cylinder with the cylinder and to draw the curves of intersection we have to draw first the top view, front view and side view of both the cylinders. The vertical cylinder will have its top view as a circle, front view as a rectangle and side view as a rectangle. The horizontal cylinder will have its top view as a rectangle, its front view as a rectangle and its side view as a circle of some diameter. So this figure basically represents the intersection of two cylinders. Now we will proceed towards the solution. The question is as follows. A vertical cylinder of base diameter 55 mm and axis length 80 mm is horizontally penetrated by another cylinder of base diameter 45 mm and axis length 90 mm. So the here the diameter of the vertical cylinder which was shown in the figure as pink cylinder was, is 55 mm whereas axis length is 80 mm. The dimensions of the horizontal cylinder are diameter will be 45 mm and the axis length is 90 mm. Also it is given that the axis of both the cylinders bisect each other at right angles. So it is given the axis is parallel to BP and bisects the axis of the vertical cylinder at right angles. It means the axis of the horizontal cylinder is bisecting the axis of the vertical cylinder at right angles. So basically both the axes are perpendicular to each other and they are bisecting each other. Draw the projection of the solids showing the curves of intersection. So we here we have to draw the front view, top view, side view of both the solids that is vertical cylinder and the horizontal cylinder as well as we have to draw the curves of intersection where the two cylinders meet each other. So let's proceed with the solution. First note down the dimensions of both the solids. So dimension of the vertical cylinder is diameter is 55 mm, height is 80 mm. Second dimension of the horizontal cylinder the diameter is 45 mm and the height is 90 mm. In all the problems you have to first note down the dimensions of the vertical solid and then the dimension of the horizontal solid. Third it is given that the axis of the cylinders are bisecting each other at right angles since this was given in the question. So with these given dimensions and with this given condition with the axis bisecting each other at right angles we have to draw the position of the solids along with the curves of intersection. So let's begin with the solution. In the first step we will draw the top view of the vertical cylinder which will be a circle of the given diameter. So the top view of the vertical cylinder is a circle of diameter 55 mm. In the next step we will draw the xy line. After drawing xy line we will project the front view of the vertical cylinder. Now since the cylinder was vertical the front view will be a rectangle of given height. So here we have drawn the front view of the vertical cylinder which is a rectangle of height 80 mm. Now you can see here that 
सम पोर्शन ऑफ दिस लाइन इज डार्क वेर एज सम पोर्शन इज ऑफ द लाइन इज लाइट द रीजन फॉर दिस विल बी एक्सप्लेन लेटर ऑन फॉर करंट यू हैव टू जस्ट ड्रॉ द फ्रंट व्यू दैट विल बी अ रेक्टेंगल ऑफ हाइट एटी एम एम सो जस्ट प्रोजेक्ट द फ्रंट व्यू एज अ रेक्टेंगल ऑफ हाइट एटी एम एम नाउ वी विल ड्रॉ द साइड व्यू ऑफ दिस वर्टिकल सिलेंडर अगेन द साइड व्यू विल बी अ रेक्टेंगल ऑफ हाइट एटी एम एम सो वी विल प्रोजेक्ट द साइड व्यू फ्रॉम द टॉप व्यू सो प्रोजेक्ट द टू एक्सट्रीम पॉइंट्स ऑन द फोर्टी फाइव डिग्री लाइन एंड देन प्रोजेक्ट इट इन द साइड व्यू सो फाइनली वी हैव कंप्लीटेड द टॉप व्यू द फ्रंट व्यू एंड द साइड व्यू ऑफ द वर्टिकल सिलेंडर सो दिस इज योर स्टेप नंबर वन For all the problems, you have to draw first the top view, front view, and side view of the vertical object. In this case, it is a vertical cylinder. Now, in the second step, we will draw the front view, top view, and side view of the horizontal object, which is again a horizontal cylinder. Before that, we will mark the center line. We will draw the center line in the front view and side view. So, center line in the front view. This line represents the axis of the vertical cylinder. and this line represents the axis of the vertical cylinder in the side view so basically these are nothing but the axis of the cylinder in the front view and axis of the cylinder in the side view now in the second step we will first draw the side view of the horizontal cylinder now in the figure which was shown earlier it was clear that the side view of the horizontal cylinder will be a circle of some diameter so before drawing the front view and top view of the horizontal cylinder we will draw in the first step the side view of the horizontal cylinder also in other problems whichever object is horizontal for that you have to draw first its side view and then project the front view and top view from the given side view in order to draw the side view that is a circle of the given diameter first we have to mark the center of the circle now it was given in the question that the axis of the horizontal cylinder is bisecting the axis of the vertical cylinder at right angles it means that when we will draw the axis of the horizontal cylinder in the front view or in the side view it will be drawn at a distance of 40 mm from the base since it was given that the axis bisects the axis of the vertical cylinder at right angles so this is the this line represents the axis of the horizontal cylinder at a distance of 40 mm so from this point the axis of the horizontal cylinder will be passing which is at a distance of 40 mm since in the question it was given that the axis of the horizontal cylinder bisects the axis of the vertical cylinder at right angles so from here we will take a distance of 40 mm now this point represents the axis of the horizontal cylinder in the side view now we will draw a circle of given diameter in this side view with this point as the center so this circle represents the side view of the horizontal cylinder with diameter 40 mm 45 mm after drawing the circle in the side view now we will mark the points of intersection students in order to draw the curves of intersection that is where the vertical cylinder and horizontal cylinder meet each other we have to mark the points of intersection so basically i have divided this circle into eight equal parts in order to mark the points of intersection so these points from 1 to 8 are nothing but the points of intersection or we can say that these are those points where the horizontal cylinder will cut the vertical cylinder now we will project the top view and the front view of this horizontal cylinder so first i have projected this extreme point 5 and next extreme point 1 now we project the top view so we have projected the top view first project the point 5 vertically on 45 degree line point 1 vertically on 45 degree line then draw horizontal lines in the top view now complete the top view of the cylinder so this is the top view of the horizontal cylinder now the length was given as 90 mm the total length of the horizontal cylinder was given in the question as 90 mm so when we projected this in the top view from this center line that is this center you have to mark distance of 45 mm on the right side and 45 mm on the left side since the total distance is to be 90 mm so from the center you have to mark the length 45 mm on the right side and 45 mm on the left side 
now we have completed the top view of this horizontal cylinder now you can see that this portion is shown in dotted line this is because this part of the horizontal cylinder is lying inside the vertical cylinder this is the vertical cylinder and this is the top view of the vertical cylinder so when this horizontal cylinder will get inserted inside the vertical cylinder this portion from here to here as well as this portion from here to here will lie inside the vertical cylinder so we have shown here this part with the help of dotted line means this part will be hidden whereas the portion outside the vertical cylinder will be visible so it is kept as dark now we will project the front view from the side view and the top view front view of the horizontal cylinder so project the extreme lines that is you have to project a distance 90 mm in the front view and from here you have to project lines horizontal lines from point number 3 and point number 7 and finally complete the rectangle in the front view so this rectangle has been completed which represents the front view of the horizontal cylinder so in order to draw the front view of the horizontal cylinder you have to project the length that is 90 mm from the top view by drawing these two lines and you have to project the diameter from the side view by project projecting these two points that is point number three and point number seven and finally you have to complete the rectangle of length 90 mm and width 45 mm again you can see that some portion of this rectangle is hidden or we can say it is drawn with the help of dotted lines this is because again this portion of the horizontal cylinder lies inside the vertical cylinder so the part which is lying inside the vertical cylinder will not be visible from the front view so this part should be hidden so we have drawn the portion of the horizontal cylinder which is going inside the vertical cylinder by using dotted lines whereas this portion that is lying outside will be visible from the front view so this portion is dark so you have to keep in mind that the portion of the horizontal cylinder which is lying inside the vertical cylinder will be hidden that is this portion will not be visible from the top view so it is shown by the hidden lines similarly this portion of the horizontal cylinder which is going inside the vertical cylinder will not be visible from the front view so you have to draw hidden lines to represent the portion of the horizontal cylinder lying inside the vertical cylinder so finally till now we have completed the front view top view and side view of the vertical cylinder in the second step we have completed the side view the top view and the front view of the given cylinder with the given dimensions now in the previous step we have marked these points of intersection that is those points where the horizontal cylinder will cut the vertical cylinder in order to draw the curves of intersection in the front view we have to now project these points that is point number one to point number eight in the top view as well as in the front view so that we can finally draw the curves of intersection in the front view so now we will project the points one by one so point five is already projected in the top view now we will project point number four and six so draw a vertical line in the side view and project it on 45 degree now project this line in the top view now point number 3 and point number 7 are already projected by the center line now the next point to be projected are point number 2 and point number 8 so draw vertical line passing through point number 2 and point number 8 on 45 degree line now project these points in the top view by drawing horizontal line in the top view so we have drawn horizontal line in the top view so finally we have projected all the points from point number 1 to point number 8 in the top view by drawing horizontal and vertical projection lines these lines should be kept as light this should not be dark now we will mark the points of intersection in the top view now first point we mark is point number five now point number five is projected by this line so wherever this line cuts the vertical cylinder that will be marked as point number five so we have projected point number five and this line which is the projection of point number 5 cuts the vertical cylinder at two points one on right and one on left so this will be nothing but point number 5 the next point we marked is point number 4 and point number 6 now we have already projected point 4 and point 6 in the top view so wherever this line 
cuts the vertical cylinder that is this point and this point will be marked as point number 4 and point number 6. So point 4 and point 6. The next point to be projected is point number 3 and point number 7. Now point number 3 and point number 7 is projected by the center line. So wherever this center line cuts the top view of the vertical cylinder that is this circle that will be marked as point number 3 and point number 7. So first point 3 and 7 will lie here and the second point will lie here. So point number 3, point number 7. Now the next point to be marked is point number 2 and 8. So after projecting point 2 and 8 in the top view, this line cuts the circle at this point and this point. So they will be marked as point number 2 and point number 8 respectively. So 2 and 8 on the left side and 2 and 8 on the right side. And finally the last point to be marked is point number 1. So after projecting 1, in the top view, this line cuts the circle at this point and this point. So they will be marked as point number 1 and point number 1. So students, it is clearly understandable that these points of intersection which were marked in the side view, they have to be marked in the top view. And while marking them in the top view, they have to be marked on both left hand side as well as right hand side. Now finally, we will project these points of intersection in the front view. In order to project these points of intersection, you have to draw vertical projection lines passing through, through these points from the top view into the front view and horizontal projection lines passing through these points into the front view. That is from the points in the top view, you have to draw vertical projection lines and from these points in the side view, you have to draw horizontal projection lines. And finally, you have to mark the points of intersection. Now we will project the points. So first I have projected point 1 and point 5. We have drawn light vertical projection line in the front view. Again, we have drawn light projection line from point number 1 and point number 5. Now, in order to mark these points, now it is clearly visible that point number 1 and point number 5 will lie on this line. And from the side view, it is clearly visible that point 1 and point 5 are lying on the center line. So, wherever this center line cuts the vertical position lines passing through 1 and 5, 1 and 5, that will be marked as point number 1 and point number 5. Now here point 1 and point 5 are coinciding with each other because if you see this circle from the side view, point 1 and point 5 are lying in a straight line. So when you mark these points in the front view, they will coincide with each other. Now we will mark the next points, point number 4, 6, 4 and 6, 2 and 8 and 2 and 8. So in order to mark these points, draw vertical projection lines from, from passing from 2, 8 and 4 and 6. So this is the line, vertical projection line passing through point 4, 6, 2 and 8. Again on the right side, this is the line passing through the point 4, 6 and 2 and 8. Now in order to mark these points, that is 4, 6, 4, 6, 2, 8 and 2, 8 in the front view, you have to draw horizontal projection line from the side view. So you have to draw projection lines passing through point 2 and 4 and passing through point 8 and 6. Now we will draw horizontal position lines. So we have drawn horizontal position lines passing through 2 and 4 first line and this is the second line passing through point 8 and 6. Now we will mark the points one by one. Now you can see from the side view if you observe this circle point number 2 and point number 4 will coincide with each other in the front view. So point number 2 and point number 4 will be marked as a single point. Similarly, point number 8 and point number 6 will coincide with each other in the front view. Now we will mark the points. So point 2 and 4. Now this is the vertical line on which point number 2 and 4 will lie. And this is the horizontal line on which point number 2 and 4 will lie. So finally this point will be nothing but point number 2 and point number 4. Similarly, point number 2 and point number 4 will lie on this vertical line. And again point number 2 and point number 4 will lie on this horizontal line. So this point where the vertical position line and the horizontal position line intersect each other that will be marked as point number 2 and point number 4. The next point to be marked are point number 8 and point number 6. Now point number 8 and point number 6 are lying on this line. So wherever this horizontal position line cuts the vertical position lines that will be marked as point number 6 and point number 8. So this point will be marked as point number 6 and point number 8. So we have marked point number 6 and point number 8. 
Now the next point we marked are point number three and point number seven. Now we have projected the point number three by this horizontal projection line, and point number three is lying on this line also. So wherever this vertical line cuts this horizontal line, that is, this point will be the intersection of the vertical projection line passing through three and the horizontal projection line passing through three. So this point will be marked as point number three. So finally, we have marked point number three. Similarly, you have to mark point number three on the right side also. Since the vertical projection line passing through three is drawn in the front view, and the horizontal line passing through point three is drawn here. So wherever this vertical line and this horizontal line cut each other, that will be marked as point number three. Similarly, you have to mark point number seven. For marking point number seven, the what the horizontal projection line is drawn here already. Now, wherever this projection line is cut by the vertical projection line, that is this line passing through point number seven and point number seven on the right side also. So these two vertical lines at the extreme will represent point number seven in the front view. So wherever these vertical lines are cut by this horizontal line in the front view, that will be marked as point number seven. So this point, that is the intersection of this vertical projection line. And this horizontal projection line will be marked as point number seven. So we have marked point number seven on the left and point number seven on the right. So finally, we have completed the or we have marked the points of intersection in the top view and in the front view also. Now we will join the points of intersection using curves. Now, cylinder students uh, note here that both the objects are cylinder. Or even if a single object is cylinder. You should always note that while joining the points, you should always join it with the help of a curve and not straight line, because the lateral surface of the cylinders are always a curved surface. So, from the two objects, if any of the object is a cone or cylinder, the curve should a curve should be drawn to the points of intersection. Now, <clears throat> for drawing the curve, you have to follow a proper sequence. Now, you can see the sequence is one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Now, when you observe this circle from the right hand side, from the right side, we can see that only half portion of the circle is visible. That is, one, two, three will be visible. Similarly, one, eight, and seven will be visible. So, when we will join the points three, two, one, eight, and seven, they will be joined with the help of a dark curve, since these points are visible from the side view. Whereas these points, that is point three, four, five, six, and seven, they are not visible. So when we will join these curve passing through the point three, four, five, six, and seven, since they are not visible from this side, they will be joined with the help of a dotted curve, that is a hidden curve. So let's begin to draw the curve. So first we will draw one, two, three, or we can say three, two, one, eight, and seven. So three to two, two to one. One to eight and eight to seven. Again, three to two, two to one, one to eight and eight to seven. So the sequence is three to two, two to one, one to eight and eight to seven. So this portion will be dark. Or we we have to join these points with the help of dark curve. For joining these points, we have to draw a hidden curve. But students, you can see here that. Point number two and four, point number one and five, and point number eight and six are coinciding. That is, they are lying at the same points. So, here, if we draw the hidden curve passing through these points, it will overlap with the dark curve. So, whenever the hidden curve and the visible curve are overlapping each other, we have to always represent it with the help of dark curve. So, no need to draw here a hidden curve since both the curves are overlapping with each other. So finally, we have completed the solution that is intersection of the vertical cylinder with the horizontal cylinder. So these are nothing that is this curve is called as the curves of intersection. So in short, I am again revising it for drawing the intersection. First, you have to draw the top view, front view, and side view of the vertical cylinder. In the second step, draw the front view. Top view and side view of the horizontal cylinder with the given dimensions. In the next step, mark the points of intersection in the side view. That is, point of intersection of the horizontal cylinder with the vertical cylinder. After marking the points of intersection, mark the points of intersection in the top view. 
and finally project it in the front view. Now after marking the points of intersection in the front view, draw curves of intersection passing through the points of intersection. Now <clears throat> finally you can see here that this portion from 3 to 7 and also here on the right side from 3 to 7 is drawn with the help of right position line that is we have not made it dark whereas this portion upper part as well as lower part is made with the help of a dark red line this is because if you want to insert this horizontal cylinder inside this vertical cylinder a hole has to be made inside this vertical cylinder and so while drilling the hole this portion or the portion of the vertical cylinder from 3 to 3 3 to 7 7 to 7 and again 7 to 3 will be removed so in short we can say that this part of the vertical cylinder does not exist so this portion from 3 to 7 on the right side as well as 3 to 7 on the left side will not exist so you have to draw here light line whereas the upper part that will exist will be dark similarly this part will be dark and in the side view the entire rectangle will be dark this circle should be dark and these lines that is the part of the vertical cylinder horizontal cylinder which is going inside the vertical cylinder will not be visible in the front view also and will not be visible in the top view also so these lines should be hidden whereas remaining part should be dark all the horizontal and vertical position lines should be light so finally we have completed the solution thank you